case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1954 case, Alaska Airlines, Inc. v. Stevenson, the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit, examined the statute of frauds, a rule stating that certain contracts must be in writing to be enforceable. The court also considered whether promissory estoppel, a legal principle that enforces a contract when a promise induces substantial action, could apply despite the lack of a written agreement. The case involved Arthur W. Stevenson, a former general manager of Alaska Airlines, Inc., who was hired by the company in 1950 to manage operations in Alaska. However, his contract was not finalized in writing. Stevenson later sued the company for unpaid salary and expenses, leading the court to examine which state's law applied in this situation. The company argued that since the contract was made in New York, it fell under the statute of frauds, which requires contracts to be in writing. Despite no steps being taken to put the agreement in writing after its negotiation, the district court in Alaska awarded Stevenson $11,050 for unpaid salary and $695.20 for expenses. Affirming this modified judgment, the court held that each party was responsible for their own appeal costs, except for the appellee, who was required to pay half of the transcript and printed record costs. Judge Lemon did not participate in the decision. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.